So once you once you get to the spot and you find a good gutter and 80 pound black magic fluoro carbon hook trace. Yeah, we're on the top. Just got the shark and the mull away on two rods. Let's have a look at that. We're in the third point to being successful beach fishing. Wow. Wow. Look at this, legends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's another big fish. Have a look at that. That's the fourth gummy for the night. Well, just past two o'clock in the morning. Legends down the beach again, and the weather's pretty awesome so far. Geez, I don't look at that cloud way over there, but hopefully, that's not going to come this way. But yeah, down the beach again. And this trip, I thought I'd um, go through some of the finer points to uh, being successful beach fishing. And the first thing I suggest is when you get down the beach. Don't just like look for the closest gutter and, and say that'll do and fish it. I think you need to go for a bit of a drive down the beach, have a look at the gutters, have a look if there's, if there's any weed around, if there is, look for places where there's no weed on the beach. Um, but yeah, look for a good gutter. That's the first point, I think. You've got to find a good gutter to catch good fish. But uh, yeah, that's the first point. And Second point, once you get, to the, get to there and find a good spot, uh, which I've done here, I'll, uh, I'll put the drone up and give you a bit of a look. Hopefully, um, it's a bit whitewashy, but hopefully you'll be able to see uh, what the gutter that I'm fishing in here. It's not bad looking water when the waves aren't all breaking everywhere, but anyway, I'll get the drone up and give you a look. Once you, once you get to the spot and you find a good gutter, first thing you want to do is get your rod set up and get some uh, burley out, get some scent in the water. Um, the tide's on its way out here now, so yeah, I'll chuck some burley out and yeah, hopefully um, catch a fish before too long. But yeah, I'll get back to you with a third point. Eww. Tell you, this is my trace. On this rod, I've got 80 pound braid, a uh, snap swivel there. I think they I think it's like around 46 pound snap swivel, Halco snap swivel, um, 60 pound sinker trace, and 80 pound black magic fluorocarbon hook trace with 10. Uh, sorry, with three Tenno BKK octopus hooks. So yeah, that's my setup. Have a look at that for a drop off. That's gonna be deep water tonight on high tide. Yeah. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'm a... Uh, it's been very quiet so far Mind you, I've been stuffing around a lot And haven't been watching the rod enough So... Might have very well missed a bite or two uh, yeah, it's heading towards low tide. 
knee bites that I know of, but I think I might have had one or two. Got some nice big pilchers this trip. That's one of the smaller ones. I like big pilchers down here, they go off. Big pilchers catch big fish. I got some freshly frozen baby squid for the other rod. See which see which bait is gonna win tonight. Some nice fresh frozen baby squid straight from the market the other day. Buy all my bait at a fish shop. So all the pilchards and squid I buy come straight from the market. Anyway, chuck this out. See how we go. Yeah, we're on the something. Oh yeah, something decent. Oh yeah. Run over that way. Oh yeah, what do we got? It's the size of fish, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, decent sized gummy, all right. Oh, I can't believe this. I was just getting the bucket of water, I put the shark in. Looked up, the other rod's going. Oh, what have we got on this one, little mully, I reckon? Oh, wow, not so little. Jeepers! Hey, gents. I just got the shark and the mull away on two rods. Shark one went off first, then the mull away. Oh, she's 68 centimetres. Got a mully there, it's like 110 centimetres or something. Got to get this girl back anyway. I'm going to keep the shark. We'll get her back. Ew! On the pilchard, this one. The gummy was on the squid. Good girl. Go on, up you go. Not a bit slow. She's alright, yeah. He's slowly swimming off. Ew. Hey legends, have a look at that. 112 centimetre gummy. She's a big girl. I'm, I don't know, I was gonna keep it, but I'm thinking maybe I should tag it. But you may would love to eat it too. And I haven't got much in the freezer either. Yeah, I might keep it, but yeah, 112 centimetres, what a beast. Get another bait out. Ew. I reckon the third point to being successful at beach fishing is to bait up um, often. I, I bait up every 15, 20 minutes, depending on what bait it is. Squid lasts longer than pilchard, but uh, yeah, 15 minutes is good, I reckon. Depends how long the bait's lasting, whether it's lice or crabs. But uh, yeah, bait up often and keep the belly flowing. That's the third big point to uh, being successful with beach fishing, I reckon. That's just my opinion, but hey, uh, works for me. Tides just starting to move in. So I've pretty well got that gummy and mull away on low tide. Sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast.
Well, well, I'll just about go and bait up. I look down, the rod's buckling over. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. Mother whale or shark, that's the question. Oh, big head shakes. Big head shakes. Where are you? Oh, big fish. Oh, there it is, big shark, I reckon. Yeah. Whoa, bigger shark. This one's getting tagged. It's over. But yeah, I've got a bucket of water down here. It keeps, it fr keeps the sharks and the mother way fresh. So as you can see, she's fresh as, ready to go. Yeah, she's a she, big girl. Tag, another tag and release. How awesome is that? Absolutely unreal. Loving this session. Eww! I'll release her. I mean, she'll be right now. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah, here she is. That way, girl. Where are you? There you are. That way, girl. Yeah, there she goes. Eww! Tag and release, 114 centimetre gummy. Yeah. What an awesome night's fishing so far. Unbelievable. But yeah, anyway, getting back to the points, I'd almost forgotten about the points to beach fishing success. I think the fourth point, you need to put the hours in. I put in 10 to 12 hours every trip, sometimes more, of um, baiting up burly and baiting up every 15 minutes, chuck burly out every bait or every second bait. And being persistent and keeping it up the whole night. If you keep it up, keep the burly up, keep the baits up, you'll catch more fish. I can't say I guarantee it, but it works for me and caught three quality fish tonight. But yeah, I think mean, that's another really big point. You gotta put in the hours and be consistent, persistent, and yeah, you'll get the fish sooner or later. But yeah, I'll get back stuck, stuck into it. Had, haven't had a bite for a while. Tide's still pushing in, still early. Another few hours yet. See how we go. Eww. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. I'm never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. I'm only Run again. This time on the pilly. Oh yeah, oh good fish, oh yeah, oh this could be a mully, or another big gummy, oh that's a good fish alright, look at that, big head shakes, oh swimming in, swimming in, whoa, swimming in really quick, shark, another shark. Another big shark. Well, he, he swam in so quick. That was ridiculous. It's a decent fish. That's three big gummies in one night. That's ridiculous. Whew. I'm buggered. Have a look at this, legends. This keeps getting better. What a night's fishing. Uh, 112 centimetre gummy, 68 centimetre mully, 
114 centimeter gummy and this girl 122 centimeters it's a record for me for tagging Yew! gotta get her back nice and healthy what a night's fishing Woo! oh i can't believe it adrenaline's going crazy gotta get her back Yew! Big 120 centimetre girl. Holy crap! Where did that wave come from? There is she. There she is. Come on, girl. Oh, yeah, she's right. She's off. Yeah, off she goes. Yeah! So important to keep the burly up. I always notice a change in the fishing when I consistently burly up. That's the way I do it. And it works for me. All quality fish tonight, no small fish tonight. Gotta be happy with that. God, one of the biggest gummies I've ever caught. And two other big fellas with it. Oh, all big girls too. Oh, oh, I'm so stoked. What a nice fishing. But still got a couple hours yet. Who knows what else we can get. Big, big mully would really top the night off now. Eww. Big fish. Wow, big head shakes. Whoa, is it another gummy or is that a mully this time? Hopefully a mully. Whoa, eat the head shakes. Eww. Wow. This is unbelievable fishing. Big head shakes. That feels like mully head shakes. And it is! Oh, that's a good mully. Oh, wow, that's a good fish. Have a look at that. She's bloody 75 centimetres or so. Nice fish. Yeah, I only just threw that out. Oh, yeah, she's 75 every day of the week. <laughs> Have a look at that, 77 centimetres of mull away, three gummies, two mullies, she's undersized down here but what a beast, oh what a nice fish and again, got to get her back nice and healthy, what a beast, 77 on the pilly, you, three, two of the gummies have been on the squid uh, two, and the, both the mullies have been on the pilly. One of the gummies was on the pilly too. Got to get her back. Phew. There you go. 77 centimetres, look at her go, she's off. Phew. choice pilchards and I just threw one out pretty similar to that and within oh, it was like a minute bang she went off 77 centimeter mulloway both the mulloway on the pilchard tonight I think the biggest gummy was on the pilly wasn't it yeah I reckon but yeah they are choice pillies have a look at that big pillies big fish still got another couple hours what else are we gonna pull out of this wicked hole Eww. Well, you wouldn't read about it. I had like at least half a kilo of pilchards for burley, and a fox has come along and helped himself and taken the lot. So, ain't got much burley left now, that's just great. 
Good on you, Mr. Fox. Oh yeah, we're on a good fish here. Once again, long time between bites. Oh, she's going straight over that way. Oh yeah, good gummy. Have a look at that, legends. That's the fourth gummy for the night. And uh, that's a perfect eating size for me, so that's coming in with me. The bigger one I'll keep for me, mate. And another point that I wanted to add to um, baits, fresh, fresher baits as you can if you can't have fresh bait, uh, fresh frozen. I get mine from the market, uh, from the fish shop. So yeah, fresh as possible bait and all the other points that I touched on, you're well on your way to successful beach fishing in my books anyway. It all works for me anyway. I'll get another bait out, still got another hour or so to go. Yee! Oh, we're on again. Oh, can you believe this? Oh, or did he get off? No, I think he's still on there. Yeah, swimming in. Another gummy, maybe, or a little molly. Yeah, another gummy. Wow. Another small one. Have a look at that. 95 centimetres, another awesome fish. I hope that those uh, key points that I've told you about tonight help, help you um, have more successful beach fishing trips because they're the things that help me catch fish like this and all the others I've got tonight. But anyway, Keep this one for a feed to you, like the little ones to eat. I've released three three good fish tonight. More than that actually, four or yeah, four I think. But anyway, chuck another bait out. Eww. And have another awesome session. I hope those tips I give you help you out a bit. Oh what a session. Anyway, see you in the next one soon. Shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks so much for your support. And uh, we'll see you again, again soon. Another awesome session. Can't complain at all. If you want to check out my merch, I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for your support, legends. See you in the next one soon. Yee!